All right, I had a little package show up today from UPS. I'm pretty excited to show everybody what I got. This is a huge box. This thing is 65 pounds. I felt bad for the guy taking it out of the truck. And uh, this is probably about 25 pounds, I would say. Um, can't wait to show everybody what this is. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do an unboxing. As you can see behind me, I've got a couple really large boxes. Uh, I've met a really cool dude on Facebook Marketplace that sold me these items. They're very heavy. Uh, he was way down in Mississippi, maybe five and a half, six hours away. We were thinking about meeting up maybe at a halfway point. He was nice enough to ship these out to me and get them expedited. Uh, hopefully everything arrives safely and it uh, everything plays normally uh, i think by the size of these boxes you can probably kind of guess what what might be in here but i guarantee you have no idea what what actually is in here the specific items so hope you enjoy the unboxing stay tuned and let's check it out all right let the games begin this is going to be fun i wonder if there's wonder if there's any popcorn in here i hope not i hope it's just hope it's just bubble wrap I don't hurt myself here. All right. The guy that shipped this couldn't find a box big enough, so he had to he had to wind up uh, piecing something together, piecing this thing together, and uh, making it work. Since there was no. Uh, no box you could find. I guess the UPS store didn't have, they didn't have a box that was the right dimensions, which is kind of weird that UPS wouldn't have a, have a box the right size, but this is kind of large. So I think the, <laughs> I think the UPS guy actually did all this packing for the guy to make sure it was secure. I hope this thing is in decent shape. Like I said, it came six hours away from Mississippi, down near the crossroads. Okay, man. I've only seen one of these in person once at a local music store a couple years ago, and it was in rough shape for what I paid for it. And this guy, on it. I've regretted it ever since just because it's so funky. Good night. Man, this is this is in there. Alright, I gotta tear open this side, get my hand on this handle so I can pull it out. Sight unseen, purchased off Marketplace, talked to the guy on the phone, he seemed like a really cool dude, you know how you can kind of get a vibe of somebody over the phone when you talk to them, get more information, normally I'd want to see it, meet the person, but due to the circumstances, I rolled the dice. Okay, here we go. Peavy, not really a, a Peavy guy. <laughs> so check this out, check out this cabinet. This is a, from what I understand, this is a 212. It's got Sheffield's, Sheffield speakers. 
Anybody familiar with Sheffields? I've heard of them. I don't know anything about them. Someone can tell me in the comments if Sheffields are good speakers. Just checking my camera out to make sure I got this thing in focus. Man, this thing is, this thing's pretty heavy. I like, well, it's not, no, it's not too bad. Look at the thickness of this thing. There's the back side of it. It's a stereo or mono cabinet, that's neat. Got two inputs, two 12s. Looking to see what the rating is on the back of this. Hmm, doesn't give me a wattage that I see. It's gotta be on there somewhere. Anyways, stereo cabinet. Looks like you can take the back off there and access the cabinet or the speakers if you gotta replace them. So, cool. All right, now the time has come to open this. I don't know which end is up. Probably, I'm gonna assume like this. Let me check and make sure this is in focus. Looks pretty good. So if you haven't guessed what this is already, if you've never seen it, you're gonna be in for a surprise when you see this. This is the head, this is the, the amplifier. Just the uniqueness alone of this amplifier made me want it. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on the ground. I'm gonna push this back a little bit. And I'm gonna lay this down like this. Let's see if I can take this out. Strong arm it out in the bubble wrap. back a little bit of styrofoam in there that was nice and easy to get out okay now let's see make sure I don't make sure I don't destroy anything on this amp from the looks of the, of the pictures of this thing my body it, it, it looked very well maintained. Look like this guy had it in a jam room or a man cave. So this is the this is the Dweezil Zappa amp that TV has since discontinued. It's called the it's called the Wiggy, and I believe it was designed after one of Dweezil Zappa's cars, like an old. Aston Martin or something that he had, the dashboard of the car. So let me see if I get this off. Alright. There. Check that out. <laughs> this looks like a 1950s record player or something also. I'm gonna get get some closer views of this thing. I'll take you around it and so you can take a look. All right, let's take a closer look at this thing. Get up nice and close. Hopefully this will focus okay. So you can you can twist these things for your. I guess that's like the volume maybe. I have no idea. It's got hazard lights when you kick the distortion on. Five band EQ. I guess these are EQs. Then this is like a global EQ maybe. It's cool, it's got a notch in the middle so you can feel the dead middle. Look at this here. Loose, tight, there's the on-off. 
got these little chicken head presents and dynamics. What's this? That's the more button. I wonder what that is. This is trans tubes. It doesn't have tubes in it. I'm a tube guy, so this is probably not going to sound great distorted. I mean, who knows? But it's supposed to be really good for a pedal platform. A lot of guys say pedal platform. Every time I hear pedal platform, I think that uh, amp sucks. <laughs> but it's a good pedal platform. There's the ohm edges on the back. 100 watt. Let's see. Nice. Got a foot switch button. Didn't come with a foot switch, but I've got foot switches I can use with it. It's got a nice effects loop. Very, very cool. Now I'll plug it in so we can see what this thing looks like on. I can't wait till it's dark. When the sun goes down, I can see what this thing looks like in a dark room. So let's see if this thing lights up. I got it plugged in. Here's the moment of truth. And it's on. How neat. How cool. Is... The guy did say this has a little bit of static in it when you turn the knobs a little bit. But put some contact spray in there. I'm not worried about that. These aren't supposed to come on, I didn't think, unless you had the foot switch engaged. Which I don't have a foot switch on at the moment. Man, this is a weird, this is a weird thing. Huh, that's so cool. We'll do a proper demo of this thing when it gets darker. I'll put a microphone in front of it and test it out. We'll see what we can get out of it. All right, so check out this thing in the dark. It is so cool. I'm gonna go up close up view here to the EQ and the gauges. And then when you hit the switch for the gain with the extra drive, you got the hazard lights. It's so cool. Okay, with the lights on, here is a better look at the amp powered up. And this has uh, two 12s in it, and the 12s go diagonal. So I've got the 12 mic'd up with this MXL condenser, and there's a 12 up here. It's just hard wood on the corners, but then your speakers, speakers are here diagonal. So I've got this 12-inch Sheffield mic'd up, and we're going to run some tones through it. And uh, we'll run a gain pedal through it also, just to see how it takes pedals. For today's demo, I'm going to run the amp clean with a little bit of reverb and delay. I'm going to run my Fender Marine reverb with this uh, Rich Tone delay pedal. And I've got this Big Joe gain pedal. This is kind of like a tube screamer. I'm going to run a little bit of grit through it also. I'm going to run a single coil guitar a strat with it and I'm going to run a Les Paul. So we're going to do two separate demos with two different guitars. So clean and dirty with single coils and humbuckers. So this is what I'm running through and I'm recording in Pro Tools.
So there's the PV Wiggy. I hope this demonstration was interesting and uh, provided a good example of some of the tones that you can get with this amp. I'm really pleased with this guy. It's going to open up a wide range of new tonal capabilities for me in my studio. Uh, it was very easy to get a nice tone out of this amp clean. Uh, and, and when I had the, the breakup engaged in it, it sounds nice and warm for a solid state amplifier. And it takes pedals excellent. All the effects that you heard on this demo were just a basic delay pedal and a marine reverb by Fender and a, a big Joe gain pedal at points. Uh, I really like this amp, like I said. I haven't really spent a lot of time exploring what a lot of these things can do as far as shape shifting and tone shifting, but I'll explore a lot more with it later. It's a lot of fun, plus it looks cool. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing and comment below. Let me know what you think of the PV Wiggy. Until next time, have a great day. Peace out.